okay so we'll come back this time we'll be going through okay so welcome back this time we'll be going through solving system the system of linear programming problem using gauss elimination method Okay, we'll still be solving the same question we have been solving since that's 2x1 plus 3x2 minus x3 equals 4 3x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 equals 5 and then x1 plus 3x2 plus 2x3 equals 6 um, with this method all we have to do is to convert our question to an augmented matrix augmented in the sense that we have 2 3 minus 1 3 2 1 1 3 2 and then we augment the matrix then you put your solution in front of it 4 5 and 6 okay. how do we go about What's the next thing the next thing we do is to make this our matrix we'll make it a upper triangular matrix such that we have zero here zero here and zero here so how do we make this equal to zero how do we make this equal to zero and make this equal to zero since we are not making any of these row one equal to zero we can we are not working on this row one at all we can make it our key row and we keep it as it is two three minus one and four then okay this is two this is one how do i make this equal to zero i can go as simple as saying r1 this is row one this is row two this is row three you can go as r1 minus two row three two r three so 2 minus 2 times this this will give me 2 minus 2 times 1 that's 2 minus 2 0 3 minus 3 times 2 6 3 minus 6 that's minus 3 and then minus 1 minus 4 that will be minus 5 and this this is 2 this is 3 if I multiply this place by 3 I multiply this place by 2 I will have 6 here and 6 here so let's say here we we'll have theory row one minus two row theory. So this will be six minus six. You have zero. This will be nine minus four. Here you have five. This will be minus three minus two, and here you have minus five. So okay for now let's do this r1 minus 2 r3 to get our solution here you can actually do it initially let's get my mind so r1 minus 2 r3 4 minus 12 this will give me minus 8 and for 3 r1 minus 2 r3 3 r1 this is 12 minus 10 so here you have 2 okay good so the next thing is to make this particular minus 3 equal to 0 so how do we turn this to 0 just go as so we are not working on this we can keep this as it is 2 3 minus 1 4 we are not working on this as well we are not making it 0 so we can keep this as 0 5 minus 5 and 2 but we want to reduce this we have zero here we have zero here so we'll make use of this time this e equation this row this time around so this is our new row two and this is our new row three how do i make this equal to zero i have five here i have three here if i multiply this place by five and i add it to this place then i should get what i want is that clear enough if I multiply this place by 3, 
this will be 15 if i multiply this place by 5 this will also be 15 minus 15 and then i should have what i needed so let's proceed i can say my new this one will be 3 and r2 minus or plus it will be plus because we have a minus sign here plus 5 and r3 just follow me so 3 times 0 you have 0 plus 5 times 0 you still have 0 3 times 5 you have 15 plus 5 times minus 3 that's 15 plus minus 15 that will be 15 minus 15 and then you have 0 and this will be minus 15 plus minus 25 so this will give us minus 40 and here you have 6 plus 5 times 8 minus 8 that's minus 40 so you have 6 minus 40 and that should give us minus 34 so we are done with this this is our solution remember this column represents x1 you can see that from here this is x1 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 so this column x1 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 this column x1 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 so i can put x1 here and this column represents x2 and this column represents x3 so this is what you do now i will say x1 times 0 0 x1 plus x2 times 0 0 x2 this is on my row theory on row 3 this row so 0 times x2 0 x2 plus x3 times minus 40 that's minus 40 x3 will be equal to this solution this solution that is minus 34 so we have 0 0 we have minus 40 x3 equals minus 34 x3 will be equal to minus 34 over minus 40 and this will give us 17 divided by 20 so straight i believe we are good with that and now let's get our hex to so on row 2 on row 2 we have 0 here so 0 times x1 that will still be 0 x1 plus 5 times x2 that's 5 x2 plus minus 5 times x3 that's minus 5 x3 will be equal to what will be equal to 2 is equal to 2 what is our x3 our x3 equals to 17 over 20 you can substitute this so 0 5 x2 minus 5 into 17 over 20 equals 2 so 5 x2 minus 17 over 4 equals 2 are you with me so this will be equal to let's make this one this will be 20 x2 minus 17 written over 4 equals to 2 and then 20x2 minus 17 equals 8 and 20x2 will be equals to 8 plus 17 so 20x2 equals 25 just trying to be detailed you can actually go beyond this x2 equals 25 over 20 and that will give us 5 over 4 so lastly let's go to row 1 this row to get our value of x1 so row 1 from row 1 we have 2x1 plus 3x2 plus minus 1 times x3 minus 1 
x theory is equal to 4. So what's our x? Our x1 is what we want to get. So 2x1 plus x2 which is equal to 5 over 4. x2 which is equal to 5 over 4. We substitute theory into bracket 5 over 4 minus what's our x theory? x theory equals 17 over 20 minus 17 over 20 equals to 4. So 2x1 plus 15 over 4 minus 17 over 20 equals to 4. Okay, 20. And then you have 20x1 plus 75 minus 17 equals to 4. So 20x1 plus 75 minus 17 equals 80 and 20x1 equals 80 minus 75 plus 17 so 20x1 equals 17 minus 17 plus 5 17 plus 5 that's x1 equals 22 over 20 and that is 11 oh sorry this will be 40 this is 40 yeah 1 in 20 that times 2 so this is 40 this is 40 this is 40 not a big deal so we have this over 40 so you have 11 over 20 our hex 1 equals 11 over 20 so finally x1 equals 11 over 20 x2 equals 5 over 4 and x3 equals 17 over 20 so you can say your x equals 11 over 20 5 over 4 17 over 20 that's all about Gauss elimination method.